Today we are making a classic Spanish recipe that I consider to be one of the best tasting dishes that hail from Spain. We're talking albondigas de bacalao in salsa. This dish is basically homemade cod meatballs that you fry in extra virgin olive oil and then you finish them off in a very simple yet delicious sauce. Folks, this recipe is so easy to make, packed with a ton of flavors and all done in about 30 minutes. All right, let's begin by adding in one pound of cod fillets into a food processor. This is 450 grams and pulsing them between one to two minutes or until the cod is finely chopped. For this recipe, I'm using cod about frozen and thawed out, but you can also use fresh cod as well as any other type of firm white fish. And let me tell you, if you don't have a food processor, no big deal. You can just finely chop the cod fillets over a cutting board. Then we'll add in the cod into a large bowl along with two eggs, three quarters of a cup of plain breadcrumbs, which is about 90 grams, and a quarter cup of chopped parsley, which is 15 grams. Then we'll season with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll mix it together until everything's well mixed and we end up with a paste-like texture. Then we'll grab spoonfuls of the mixture and start shaping our meatballs. You want them to be a little bit slightly smaller than a golf ball. And let me tell you, if your mixture's too wet to work with, just add in some more breadcrumbs in there. And for the final step in prepping our meatballs, we'll coat each one in some all-purpose flour, making sure they're lightly coated all around. For the next step, let's start cooking our dish. I'm gonna heat a large fry pan with a medium heat and add in a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil, which is 60 milliliters. Once the oil is nice and hot, but as you can see, it's not smoking, we'll start adding in the cod meatballs into the pan. And you want to make sure they're on a single flat layer. And we're going to fry the cod meatballs between five to seven minutes or until they're golden fried all around. Once the cod meatballs are golden fried, once again between five to seven minutes, we'll remove them from the fry pan and add them into a plate with some paper towels. Now using the same pan with the same heat, I'm gonna add in one small onion that I finely chopped and three cloves of garlic that I roughly chopped. And we'll mix the ingredients around continuously, that way they don't brown too quickly and they all evenly saute. After two to three minutes, and the onion is nice and translucent, I'm gonna add in one and a half tablespoons of all-purpose flour, which is about 12 grams. And we'll continue to mix this continuously and go for about one to two minutes in the flour. This is enough time to cook off the flavor in the flour, that way it doesn't overpower the sauce. Then we'll add in half a cup of white wine, which is 120 milliliters. If wine is not your thing, you can substitute it for any broth of your choice with a squeeze of fresh lemon juice. And once again, we'll continue to mix this together and go for about two minutes. After about two minutes, and the alcohol has cooked off in the wine and we've ended up with a paste-like texture, I'm gonna add in two cups of vegetable broth, which is 480 milliliters. To make this sauce, you can use other types of liquid, such as chicken broth, beef broth, or even seafood broth. Either way, you'll find a link on how to make my homemade veggie broth in the description box below. And we'll continue to mix this and go between four to five minutes or until we end up with a slightly creamy sauce. After about two minutes, and we've ended up with a slightly creamy sauce, I'm gonna add in two tablespoons of chopped parsley, which is about eight grams, and season with a kiss of sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll give it a quick mix, that way everything's well mixed together. 
Then we'll add the cod meatballs back into the pan, once again making sure they're all in a single flat layer. And we're going to simmer this for another two to three minutes or until the cod meatballs are heated through. And do get in there at the halfway point and flip them around, that way they're fully coated in the sauce. After simmering the cod meatballs for about three minutes, this dish is ready to go. I'm going to remove the pan from the heat, transfer the cod meatballs into a serving dish, and top them off with the sauce. And for the final touch, we'll sprinkle it with some chopped fresh parsley. Check it out, albondigas de bacalao en salsa, Spanish cod meatballs with sauce. Easy to make, restaurant quality presentation, and all done in about 30 minutes. Let's give them a try and see how they turned out. Once again, folks, albondigas de bacalao en salsa. This came out looking absolutely stunning. Here we go. Check that out. Truly, a dish you get so excited about. Those cod meatballs have such an incredible texture and flavor, and that uh, sauce takes them to the next level. You know, you serve this dish next to some fried potatoes and extra virgin olive oil, and of course, a bottle of Spanish wine. More specifically, from the wine region of Rioja, you're gonna have yourself an instant trip to beautiful España. Truly one of my favorite dishes from Spain. Real quick before we go, a shout out to a couple of my patrons, Manuel J. Rosales, David Houston, Britt Saunders, and Tandy Irvin. And guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button, Leave me a comment below, and if you're not subscribed, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and click on the bell icon. That way you can get notified every time I release new content and to become a part of the Spain on Fork family. Till the next time, hasta luego.